Cancer is a complex disease that scientists still research to find cures. It's influenced by a variety of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. While it's important to know that no single food can directly cause cancer, certain dietary choices have been associated with an increased risk of developing cancer. In this video, we'll explore common foods linked to cancer and the reasons why they may contribute to its development. After discussing each food on our list, we'll tell you how to lower your risk of cancer. Number one, highly processed meats. Highly processed meats include ham, bacon, salami, sausages, and hot dogs. They've been classified as group one carcinogens by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Group one means there's enough evidence to show that it's linked to cancer. The modern process of preserving these meats can lead to the formation of harmful compounds like nitrosamines. Nitrosamines can cause DNA damage and the development of colorectal cancer. The common way of processing these meats is the main issue. Nitrite curing likely enhances the toxicity of N-nitroso compounds, according to a 2008 study. Some scientists say removing nitrites from these meats could solve the cancer-causing issue. It's best to avoid or at least eat highly processed meats rarely. Number two, excessive red meat consumption. While red meat is a rich source of essential nutrients like iron, zinc, and protein, excessive consumption has been associated with an increased risk of certain cancers, particularly colorectal cancer. Heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, are formed when meat is cooked at high temperatures, such as from grilling or frying. Heterocyclic amines form when meats are blackened or overcooked. PAH forms naturally from crude oil, gas, and coal. Excessive exposure to PAHs is linked to lung cancer. That is especially prevalent for tobacco smokers. These compounds have been linked to DNA damage and an elevated cancer risk. It might be okay if you eat red meat every now and then. It's the excessive consumption and the way the meat is cooked that may lead to an increased cancer risk. A meta-analysis found that eating a lot of red meat was linked to breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, endometrial cancer, rectal cancer, and hepatocellular carcinoma. According to the American Institute for Cancer Research, we should eat no more than three portions of red meat a week. This amounts to 12 to 18 ounces of cooked red meat each week. Number three, excess sugar. High intake of sugar-sweetened beverages, including sodas and fruit juices with added sugars, has been linked to an increased risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. In other words, sugar isn't directly linked to cancer. But sugar could lead to diseases that increase your risk of cancer. Both obesity and type 2 diabetes are associated with a higher chance of developing certain cancers, including breast, colorectal, and pancreatic cancer. Excess sugar consumption may contribute to chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, fostering an environment conducive to cancer growth. It's hard to avoid sugar completely, but reducing the amount of added sugar you consume is important. According to the American Heart Association, women shouldn't consume more than 25 grams or six teaspoons of sugar daily. For men, this is 36 grams or nine teaspoons. Number four, ultra-processed foods. Ultra-processed foods, characterized by their high levels of additives, preservatives, and artificial ingredients, have been associated with an elevated risk of cancer. These foods often contain acrylamide, a chemical formed during high-temperature cooking processes like frying and baking. Acrylamide has been classified as a probable human carcinogen and has been linked to an increased risk of developing certain cancers. Foods with a high amount of acrylamide include potato chips, french fries, and foods made from grains. Acrylamide is also high in cigarette smoke. In general, acrylamide levels increase when you cook for long periods of time or at high temperatures. It also increases during frying and roasting. A solution is to boil or steam instead, which doesn't produce acrylamide, according to the American Cancer Society. 
One study in 2022 found that ultra-processed foods can increase the risk of developing ovarian and brain cancer. However, every food goes through some type of process. But when there are all kinds of mysterious ingredients, it's best to avoid that food. For example, artificial dyes like Red 40, Yellow 5, and Yellow 6 are commonly found in candy and other ultra-processed foods. These three artificial dyes all contain benzene, which is known to cause cancer. But countries are now beginning to ban these artificial dyes. The UK, France, Canada, Switzerland, Finland, and Austria already banned Red 40. In 2023, California is trying to ban Red 40 as well. Although the U.S. as a whole still hasn't banned artificial dyes. Ultra-processed foods include soda, white bread, fried chicken, energy drinks, and ice cream. Try to eat foods that are whole or have few ingredients most of the time. Number five, trans fats. Partially hydrogenated oils, the primary source of trans fats, were once prevalent in many processed foods. Trans fat is a type of unsaturated fat that can come from natural or industrial sources. However, due to their association with cardiovascular disease and cancer, many countries have implemented measures to reduce their use. In a 2021 study, trans fats were linked to an elevated risk of prostate and colorectal cancer. Thankfully, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration banned the use of artificial trans fat in 2018. So consuming trans fat is rare these days. Denmark also banned it in 2003. Canada, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Hungary also banned trans fat in the following 15 years. To avoid trans fats, use healthier oils for cooking, such as olive oil. Also, trans fats are still found in frozen pizza, crackers, cookies, cakes, vegetable shortening, some margarine, coffee creamer, refrigerated dough products, and some frosting. Try to avoid trans fats entirely. They also increase LDL cholesterol, which clogs arteries over time. Number six, excessive alcohol consumption. About 70% of people are unaware that alcohol is linked to cancer. Excessive alcohol consumption has long been recognized as a risk factor for several types of cancer, including liver, breast, stomach, oral, colorectal, and esophageal cancer. Ethanol, the active ingredient in alcoholic beverages, converts into acetaldehyde, a known carcinogen in the body. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to the accumulation of acetaldehyde, causing DNA damage and impairing the body's ability to repair itself. It's recommended to avoid or at least reduce how much alcohol you drink. That completes our list of foods linked to cancer. However, cancer sometimes takes decades to form. So if you eat some of these foods, then eating fewer of them can help prevent cancer from developing. Of course, it's difficult to completely avoid sugar and highly processed meats. But reducing the amount and how frequent you eat them can help. It might even save your life. The link between specific foods and cancer is a complex and evolving field of research. But recent research shows that certain dietary choices may lead to an increased risk of cancer development. It's important to eat a balanced and varied diet that's rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. At the same time, reduce processed and potentially harmful foods. Also, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise and avoiding tobacco use, is crucial in reducing cancer risk. Fruits and vegetables contain antioxidants that protect your cells from DNA damage. High fiber foods also reduce risk of colorectal cancer. Salmon and other anti-inflammatory foods help fight cancer as well. Be sure to eat an anti-inflammatory diet to not only be your healthiest, but to potentially prevent cancer from forming. Always consult with a doctor for personalized advice tailored to your health needs. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about improving your health. Thanks for watching.